up, what's up? This your boy Devin G. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, do your boy a favor and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell too. The way you stay updated. And if you're not new, you already know. I truly appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting your boy. Thumbs up, like, share, and comment. Help my channel grow. Help my videos get recommended. I would truly appreciate that, y'all. So I'm back with another reaction. 10 most insane police chases. Yep. Insane police chases. So I'm wondering, dog, on how far these people are going to get. Because we all know that police have the best cars. Well, usually the fastest cars, as long as the person's car is not modified. So I'm not for sure on how this is going to happen, but I assume that they're going to put up a damn good chase. Now, I wonder if they're going to get caught, though. That's what I want to see. I wonder if they're going to get caught. So, I'm excited, man. Check this out. I'm going to put the link to my Patreon at the bottom. Check that out, man. And enough of this. Let's check this out, man, and check out these police chases. Let's get to it. These are the 10 most insane police chases on the internet. Make sure to drop a like and try not to run away from the cops, or else you'll end up like number 10. Okay, so what really sets his first chase off for most is the fact that not only bus? are the cops chasing down a literal school bus, but its driver is actually a student at the very school from which the bus was stolen from. Airing on A&E's Live PD, this juvenile driver was barely old enough to be behind the wheel, let alone handling a 26 passenger bus. Wow! Considering he was already bound to be charged, this young driver decided to swerve all over the road, at one point even heading into oncoming traffic. Oh my god! Remember, rather than colliding with the traffic on the other side of the road, our bus thief decided to go for a uh, different target. Jesus! Yeah, thankfully nobody was seriously injured in this crash, and the kid was apprehended by police shortly afterwards. If this kid ever wanted to steal a car again, let's just hope he looks for a game like GTA for his thrills rather than actually this doing it in real damn life. Bus? But anyways, on to number nine. As far as police chases go, it's not uncommon to see a biker who isn't really keen on following speed limits enforced on highways. For this driver though, he wanted to do a little Dude. more than go fast oh as God. he evaded police custody. Oh and rather God. than keeping his eyes on the road and attempting to truly escape the Did cops, you, he you, kind you, of wanted to show off. Oh my God, bro. High speed chase. But when he put his feet on the seat, that was more than some could stand. Oh look my this god! Guy. Look at this guy, look at this, look at this! He is totally- I mean, I guess if he's going to jail anyway, he might as well make it a ride worth talking about once he gets put behind bars. Crazy part is, the culprit in question actually thought it was strange that the police tried to kick him off his bike during his joyride. He's gonna take Regardless off. of if he agreed with it or not, the guy was inevitably caught and promptly paid the price for his reckless antics. This Philip dude. Resendez was arrested for felony evading and driving the wrong way. What do you mean you didn't endanger anybody? You were standing on your bike going 100 miles per hour. At the end of the day, nobody was hurt and the guy apologized to his two daughters before being booked for his crimes. Well, he did walk away with one of a kind story to tell. I doubt it was worth the time spent in jail. Number eight. Imagine you're out on a family road trip, you know, RVing across the country. You stop at a place to rest and relax when some crazy lady hops in your RV and, uh... It was a demolition derby. Oh my gosh. Look at this. A chunk of the RV was ripped away. To make matters worse here, the lady brought her two dogs in the vehicle where they're on a great dangerous joyride. And it gets Get really scary when one of the dogs does this. Get out of here! There's Fido this out damn there. dog is hanging out the out front the windshield. Hole. Well, Even the dog what the windshield was? He's had enough. Straight. Out he goes. Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. I mean, over? thankfully the pup limps away, but if this woman wasn't already in enough trouble with the police, considering her dog jumped out like that, I'm sure she's catching flack from PETA as well. She goes on to ram into other vehicles, leaving a in trail it. of destruction in before one crash RV? makes her chase come to a screeching halt. The only serious injury was to the pup that jumped from the car, who then had to wear a pair of casts on its front and back legs until making a recovery. If this lady is ever allowed to drive away again, Hell I just no. hope that she decides to keep the pooch as far away from any of the action. She, Number she seven. Make, if you were ever bike. trying to outpace and escape the police, I'd imagine some of us would do just about anything to get away. Whether that be driving along the same highway at high speeds for hours on end, or even doing something as insane as boarding a moving train. 
You lying. For this you train. are lying to me. We are following you lying. The person got, got out, out and, and ran. ran. It looks right like somebody else is in the tracks. back of the vehicle, too. But again, this person has jumped out running on foot. Yeah, he at the end of the day, the day you got to commend this guy's resolve in not getting caught. I mean, really, who he here did. can honestly say that they would chase down a moving train just to board it and then attempt to evade the cops? Like, the man just sneaks aboard the scrap train and rides it for a while before ditching it to take off on foot. They're in the back seat as well. But again, this person running right so along get the him. railroad tracks. So very close there. Do you think the helicopter is following to him right jump now? Onto the train right there. Look, well, the other two folks in the back of his car had already been apprehended by this point. This guy just this kept on running until called. he was inevitably caught by police later that day. Well, that obviously, none of us can condone his actions. I'm sure we can all respect the effort put in by this guy trying to escape. The man literally jumped onto a moving train. Number six. Take if there's the one thing we've all done while playing the Grand Theft Auto series, it's easily spinning out and crashing during a police chase. Naturally, the main vehicles following you are, of course, police cruisers, and while some of us just grab another pedestrian's car, the rest of us run straight for a cop car instead. So, when this guy totaled the first vehicle he stole, the next closest car just so happened to be that of the very officers who were meant to apprehend him. You lying! Smart cookies in general, what and uh, seeing what's what gonna happen doing? here. Oh, oh no. You lying to me! This did not happen. Oh. No. He just happened to no. dance cops. This did no. not no. Common to CHP He's in a... Somehow he manages to evade the cops and even take off with one of their cruisers, and that's not even the worst of it. To the woman who was on her hands and knees, both leading Definitely. their cars. And there's another and there's officer that, that just clueless. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know that's him. No. Oh, this is... Do they know? Wait a minute. I mean, you can't really blame the officer this who keeps on going here. Like, in how in the world would you ever expect that your peers would let a suspect get away and with one of their own vehicles? Well, I say get away, so, but the yeah, chase only continued on for like another 20 minutes before the crook him, was arrested. Him. So while his maneuvers were pretty tactical, they didn't exactly pay off in the end. Number five. The typical signs of a police chase are cars moving rapidly at high speeds while occasionally causing a bit of havoc and even some destruction while trying to evade custody. For this chase though, we're veering off on a uh, different path. Rather than stepping down on the gas as hard as he could, this driver opted to do the exact opposite. Our chase, but this one <laughs> may be the slowest ever. Fort Worth police followed the white Nissan for more than two hours. The suspect in no hurry to escape, crowds of gawkers gathered on overpass. You ever hear the song Slow Ride? It kind of does indicate to take it easy, but this takes the lyric to a whole new level. So this they driver even just... cultivates a crowd waving to those behind the road, acting as if it was his like, own parkway parade. And while this guy lives it up, he's got those police trailing at a similar speed until eventually the driver decides to kick it in high gear. And went the wrong way down an access road to get back on the interstate. Keep playing with them, bro. Then enough is enough. A police SWAT car performed a pit maneuver and rammed the back of the suspect's been done car, they should have been to slam done into a concrete median. After he was detained by police, it was revealed that the car was chock full of methamphetamine and that the driver was, of course, under the influence. And that probably explains why he eventually tried to make a break for it. Number four. Damn. So far on this list, we've seen people try to escape the police on trains and RVs and even in other officers' cars. However, one thing we've yet to see and will likely not see for some time is a culprit trying to get away on his longboard. Traffic clutching the longboard, and then came the move worthy of a movie, if only it had worked. For five seconds, the suspect tried to escape for hot pursuit on foot. Before all this, the man was being pursued by police in a car he'd previously stolen before crashing into the back of another driver's vehicle. I've been pissed. Knowing he'd be caught if he did nothing, he did the first thing that came to his mind and what? tried to carve his name in the history books by attempting his own version of the great escape. Mm, With that mm, in mind, mm. though, if I were this guy, I probably would have just thrown it away and yeah, ran as bro. fast as I could, but... And again, regardless of what method he used, there was no escaping the long arm of the law. Record, that's the closing show. in, the same red pickup cut him off and practically pinned him. Whoa! Mm, Who's mm, that mm. guy? Next time he decides to try and evade the police, I just hope he brings something a little quicker than a longboard as a backup plan. What a damn long. Number three. In most police chases, people start in a car and end up running on foot, but this chase begins on foot as the criminal was originally caught and was being treated on a stretcher near an ambulance. But right before he was processed and cuffed, he opted to jump up and take the emergency vehicle for a spin. Police say they shot him three times as he reversed and hit two officers in uniform. For almost 90 minutes, Givorowski leads police on a tour of Frankfurt and Cotman Avenues and side streets it's around the boulevard. It takes a uh, special kind of person to take an ambulance, you know, vehicle typically used for transporting the sick or injured, and instead use it as a getaway car. 
then again, mm -mm. considering he was going to be charged for assault anyway, he it makes it. his desperate attempt at escape seem that. a little more understandable. But regardless of whatever vehicle he decided to steal, it was bound to need a tow after the chase. For four minutes, he tries to get in front of Givorowski. His persistence pays. He flattens a front tire before spinning out. Finally got the right tire, and he still was going. He was down to like 15 miles an hour. Yeah, this tow truck driver is definitely a hero for his actions here, because shortly mm, after mm, he mm. popped the guy's front right tire, a spike strip finished a job making it easy for the police to you get the criminal it, back in custody. You over it, dog. Well, the chase only went on for like 20 minutes or so. It definitely would have lasted much longer if it weren't for this truck driver showing up to work early talk about dedication yeah number two in his truck though all right if you can't tell by now these chases come in all shapes and sizes but the very last person you'd ever expect to see behind the wheel well are little kids in the case of this seven-year-old, he had his first encounter with the law on a bright Sunday morning. Cooper County Sheriff's patrol car as the deputy funneled the boy, unaware of just how young that driver was. It was a wild ride, but the little guy never went over 35. And while you can't really tell that it's a kid with him just hey, driving show, along, it? it gets a lot easier to see once he pulls up to his family's driveway. <laughs> They'll never find me under the bed. Get out of here! And if I were to categorize the, the, the boy's skill as a driver. The kid just ran right inside and told his dad that the cops were outside without giving him literally any context. So when the officer went ahead and told the dad what his son had been up to before church, she was just as confused as any of us probably would be in that situation. I mean, in all fairness to the kid, when I was young, I remember always wanting to know how it felt to kind of like jump behind the wheel of a car. And while nowadays it's become a regular part of life for most of us, to this seven-year-old, it must have been an exhilarating experience. I mean, nothing. fair play to the kid. Honestly, it's just impressive that he came out of it uninjured and that he actually managed to drive pretty well for being seven. Next time, let's just hope he waits until he's at least 16 before taking his folks' car out for a spin. Finally coming in at our number one spot, we're taking a look across the pond to a pursuit that happened in London, England. Conventionally, if you're trying to escape police custody, your vehicle of choice would usually be something small and fast, right? Well, for this intoxicated driver, he opted for something with a little more destructive power to go about Was on the rampage. Was it a tractor? Um, it's just prior yeah, to the uh, north end sort of roundabout. Like I mentioned before, our driver here is under the influence, meaning that he likely has no regard for anyone else on the road. With that in mind, you can imagine he's not exactly the most careful when trying to avoid the very cops that are chasing him. He just, just driving, just... Yeah, it's still got an officer. You need to get yourself out of sight. He if he sees you, he'll go for you. He has done once he goes on to hit several other police cruisers along his trail of carnage. You see what I did there? Okay, kind of. Is good. that a tractor? Well, anyway, of course, the driver was inevitably caught by police, but not before he caused plenty of damage to all those police cars who decided to get in the way of his 12-ton dump truck destruction. Oh, dump truck. Thankfully, that was the majority of the damage caused by this truck? insane chase, and fortunately for everyone involved, no one was seriously injured. Yo, they was not lying. These were definitely some of the craziest police chases I've ever seen in my life. But I would have to say the most insane, well, two. The lady who stole the RV. That was crazy as hell. She literally stole an RV dog, crashed it, and had the whole right side smashed in. No windshield, no windshield, no nothing, with a dog hanging out. Oh, my God. That one, and, of course, the little seven-year-old kid, man. That little <laughs> he could drop out as good as me. It's about as good as me, man, at seven years old, dog. And that was on a Sunday after church. His dad knew nothing about it. Damn. He did, and then he runs in and tells his dad that the police are outside as if they just pulled up for no apparent no apparent reason. Yeah, this is this is crazy, man. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Give your boy a thumbs up, like, share, and comment. Check out my Patreon, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.